Now, we've all heard passing references to selling our body parts for money, but how much are they actually worth? Hi there everyone, my name is Ollie. welcome back to the channel. I'm a third year medical student on the grad entry program at Warwick Medical School in the UK. So this video is going to be about the value of body parts and even though there are over seven and a half billion people in the world as of 2020, there is still a huge demand for body parts and that means a lot of money from the right buyer. And although we're not that far away from being able to fully grow organs and 3D print these biomaterials in labs, we're not quite there yet. So let's break down the most valuable parts of the human body and find out what we're all worth. Now, before we begin, just the obvious elephant in the room here is that in most countries in the world, the private trade of human body parts is actually illegal. So most of the prices that I'm referencing here are either gonna be from countries where it is legal to trade them or the black market prices that people have researched for these particular organs. Therefore, the prices included in this video represent the private trade value in countries where it is legal to trade them or the going black market rate estimated in the United States. So let's start with blood. We've all got quite a lot of it, but relatively few people want to get rid of it. And unfortunately, in some parts of the world, this has generated illegal blood farms where people are known to have been caged and had their blood forcibly taken. The value of blood can also be massively variable because of the different surface antigen types, and certain blood groups are much more common than others. O positive, for example, is the most common blood group and accounts for about 35% of the Western population, so that's obviously less valuable than rare groups such as AB negative, which accounts for only about 1%. On average, human blood is worth about £225 a pint, with the average person having between 9 and 12 pints in their body. Let's call that 2250 in the bank and move on. How about skin? It covers almost the entire surface of our bodies and the average adult human has about two square meters of it. It's estimated that skin sells for around six pounds per square inch, which doesn't sound like a lot, but scale it up if you were to sell it all at once, it's worth almost 19,000 pounds. Of course, in that instance, you wouldn't have any left and you'd be walking around like one of those Nazis from Raiders of the Lost Ark, but I suppose beggars can't be choosers. You might be familiar with the sale of human sex cells as well, so sperm and eggs, and it's something that most humans have a reasonable supply of. Although, as with most things, there's a partial imbalance between the sexes. Men have a potentially unlimited supply of sperm and are obviously sometimes all too happy about spreading it around. And each sperm donation that a man chooses to make will be worth about £50. Although remember that sperm banks tend to be incredibly selective about the particular groups of people that they want and who they will accept donations from. And remember that if you're thinking about buying such a sample, an anonymous donor is one thing, but if you want a sample from someone who was maybe exceptionally intelligent or an athlete or any desirable trait, you're gonna be looking at a lot more money. On the other side of things, as women are actually born with all the eggs that they will ever carry, they're relatively much more valuable. And enough eggs for one IVF cycle can actually net a legal donor about 6,000 pounds in the US. Do it through the black market, however, you can then get closer to 10,000 pounds for the same number of eggs, and then it's not considered taxable income. Make smart choices, kids. Let's look at bones next. So there are 206 in the human body and some of them can net a pretty penny. Although the marketer in me would want to part them out individually, in practice, bone transplants are relatively very uncommon and so you're looking more at the collector's market. These collectors tend to only be interested in the larger long bones and skulls with teeth. At any rate, it's estimated that an entire human skeleton in decent condition is worth about three and a half thousand pounds to the right buyer. Now, let's start to think about our internal organs. The classic example you hear about is people selling their kidneys. And that's actually not super unreasonable because you have two of them and any organ that you have two of, you can actually survive perfectly well with just one and kidneys by themselves are estimated to comprise up to three quarters of the entire black market human organ trade. And this is because they're the most commonly desired organ for transplantation because they're the most worn out, as it were, by modern medical conditions such as diabetes and hypertension. And a functioning kidney 
will run you just over £100,000. So then what about livers? The liver's job is effectively to detoxify certain substances in the body, metabolise drugs and make some of the essential proteins that we need. Waiting lists are often very long and liver transplant surgery is very complex, requires very highly trained surgeons and specialist transplant units. Although you can actually regenerate your liver from as little as 25% of the original mass should some of your liver be removed, either for medical reasons or to be sold. However, according to the research I've looked at, buyers tend to want the whole thing, and part of a liver isn't really good enough. If you want to buy a liver in decent condition, similarly to kidneys, it'll run you about £105,000. Now, when I was researching this video, I was actually most interested in the value of the brain, and I'm sure many of you were too. Inside our heads, obviously, it's priceless because it contains who and what we are. But ultimately, brains are actually next to worthless on the second-hand market purely because there is no functional way to perform a successful transplant at the moment. And in reality, people have actually acquired jars of human brain material for as little as $100, so we're not even going to count it on our list today. Now into the thoracic organs, it may take your breath away to learn that your lungs for the pair are worth about £200,000. But the heart is the one thing that most of us will give away to another for free, at some point in our life, but that is a dumb financial decision because you could be charging almost half a million pounds for it. Again, due to the prevalence of things like heart disease and diabetes in the Western world, hearts are some of the most hot ticket items in organ trade. And you can actually legally sell your heart in the United States. God bless the relentless march of capitalism. Of course, in that instance, you do have to actually pay for the transplant process and surgery as well, which can very easily run you over £900,000. But you're the one selling, so that's not really your problem. And another part that many of us may be very uncomfortable thinking about having removed is our eyes, specifically the cornea of both eyes, and a decent pair of these will net the donor anything up to £15,000 for the right buyer. And it goes without saying that your eyes actually have to be in quite decent condition in order to attract a buyer. I'm short-sighted, for example, so I doubt people would be interested. Although that said, £15,000, I could sell them, then use the money to get laser eye surgery to fix my eyes, which I just gave it. No, that wouldn't work. And so there we are, guys. There are obviously many more parts to the human body than the ones I've just covered, but these are the ones with some significant value that it would be worth your time potentially to try and sell. If we add up everything that we've covered, assuming you're a female who could sell eggs just because sperm is not that valuable, we actually come up with a total that is just shy of a million pounds. Of course, you'd be left with drastically fewer internal organs no eyes, no skin, but you'd have a million pounds. So there's that. So I hope you've enjoyed that, guys. Just a slightly different video. I thought it would be quite fun to have a look into and make. Please remember to hit that like button for me, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. Which parts of your body would you sell or would you buy parts of the body? I'm not one to judge. Let me know what you think in the description below. If you want to support the channel, guys, there are three ways to do it. You can share with a friend, subscribe and leave a comment. You can buy me a coffee on my Ko-Fi link, which is in the description below, and you can save 10% off your first year of Complete Anatomy me 2020 my favorite anatomy learning tool take care guys and i'll see you next time bye bye